All right, we're just going straight into the video, guys. So first things first, a true warrior needs a very good weapon, and the weapon of choice is always Maru Blades because the Maru Blades they have a range. They CC your enemy for a short period of time and they also block break your enemy. So your enemies are definitely not saved and everyone just hate this weapon if they face this weapon. It also does tons of damage. As for elemental skill, you should go for the last move of Pyromania because it does CC your opponent and also it forces your opponent to block, which basically opens him up for a block breaker. So he's basically... If it hits, he is CC'd, but if he tries to block it, you can still use your Maru Blades. And if everything hits, it does tons of damage and you can start a combo with it. As for your E spec, you should use Sagai Wire because it has a range, of course, it's a throwable. It pulls you to your enemy and opens it up for an air combo. It doesn't do damage, but it's a utility move. You can also just use it to escape when you are in trouble. Or you can use it as a combo extender. So what to do with this weapon is definitely up to you. So every PvP player needs an auto dodge. And I think the best auto dodge will be the Akuma auto dodge because it has a 5 second iframe time. The martial arts, the taijutsu arts, auto dodge only has like 4 seconds, which is also basically a worse version from any auto dodge that you can use from bloodlines. Because if you use it, if your enemy uses Minika the third, they can basically bypass it, so you will still be able to get basically damaged. This is basically the next move we will get, Minika the third. As I said, it is a very nice move to stagger your opponent to still get him in a combo, even though he has used his auto dodge. You can't use it on every auto dodge, but you can use it when your enemy uses the martial arts auto dodge. So this will basically counter your opponent's counter, which is basically used by a lot of players in PvP. So Minika the third will be the third move in our loadout. And then we got Coke Gaiden, the last move. This is just a very nice move. It, it is a very long move. If you, if you just grab your enemy and your enemy uses auto dodge. He, he just basically wasted his auto dodge. And if he doesn't use his auto dodge, all your enemy skills will be sealed for 10 seconds. It will get in a cooldown of 10 seconds. So you can basically do nothing but just block and try to escape without being able to use any of his skills. So it's, it's a free combo chance and most enemies just wait a couple seconds and then pop the auto dodge. So they won't get the hit where you get your enemy's skills on cooldown. But you use this skill anyway just to bait your enemy's auto dodge. Sure you can use powder, you can use all the grab skills, but this skill is just better because it has more functionality you can seal your enemy skills for 10 seconds if it hits All right next skill will be cement first cement first is a very nice combo extender it is an instant move you just use a basic m1 combo and then instantly pop it it will cc your enemy and it will just be up again for another combo it does around 30k damage i guess and it has a short cooldown also only requires 3000 of your chi this is definitely a must have if you are a pvp player also shindai style amethyst lightning it's basically almost the same as cement first move do a basic m1 combo and then just pop it and it also stuns your enemy but it also cancels your enemy's auto dodge so he can't use auto dodge so these are basically the skills you want to have if you want to be a very good pvp player of course it all depends on your skills but these skills right here i just showed you these are basically the meta moves almost everyone uses these anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i see you in the next video guys bye bye